Hello friends, welcome to the next lecture on the CSR net examination. Today we will discuss about all those questions related to the linear algebra and these are the five questions that we are discussing in this video. After that there are another five questions that we will discuss in our next lecture. So you can simply follow, follow up. So we will discuss all the questions with the help of shortcut tricks. Myself Dr. Gar. you can simply follow my YouTube channel Dr. Harish Gar, where you can find the, all those previous years uh, uh, topics with the help of the shortcut tricks in each of my videos. You can simply follow my YouTube channel Dr. Harishkar playlist is CSR net examination. So remember as I told you many times that our target is to solve the problem within a 15 seconds and you have to apply the tricks instead of the solving the problem up to the one page or the two page lengthy calculation. I again suggested you this is your competition exam. So you have to apply the tricks instead of solving the problem because once you solve the problem that is your subjective exam that you already did in, in your master programs. Now how you can solve this problem? So you have to apply the tricks. Remember your, your target is to discard the options not to accept the problems are there. So what is given to you? A is any of the invertible matrix. So A is my any of the invertible matrix of the 5 cross 5 such that the characteristics equation of the A and the characteristics equation of the A inverse are same. Fine. That's the only condition which are the following statement is my true. Look at that. This is a 5 cross 5 matrix. Is there any, is there any condition imposed on this? What kind of the condition is? Like whether it's a symmetric, whether it's a skew matrix, whether they have the eigenvalue 2, whether they have the determinant 4, non-zero and so on. Is there any given to you? No. Only condition is invertible. So how you can solve that? that? That's very simple. What you can think is you can choose any of the matrix, which matrix you can think about that, which is quite easy for you. Identity. It is a 5 cross 5. You can consider the 5 cross 5. Then what is my A inverse? A inverse is also I. So it means this property is satisfied. Now look about the options P. So if A is I, then what will, then what is my A square? A square is also I. Then, and what is my A5? A5 is also I. Now look about the options are there. What is the determinant of A square? 1. What is the determinant of this option is maybe correct. Determinant of A5 is 1. Remember our target is to discard the option. Look at the another one. What is the trace of the a square? Trace of a square is 2. So it means this option is cancelled out. What is the trace of the a5? Is my 5. So it means this option is also cancelled out. Now we have the two options, 1 and 2, but it has a one correct option. So look at the another example. If I say a is minus i, then what is the a inverse? a inverse is also minus i. What is my a square? a square is my plus i. And what is my a5? a5 is my minus i. Fine. What is the determinant of a square? Is plus 1. That's fine. What is the determinant of a5 is minus 1. So it means this option is also cancelled out. The right option is only my a is the correct answer. Remember that nothing is given to you about the condition. You can think about as per your convenience. You may think about that 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0 and here. It should be the no, it should be the invertible matrix. So diagonal entry you can take as a one as per your convenience. Okay, look at the next one. A is a real n cross n. A is my n cross n matrix, and the rank of this A is my given to you. Ah. Fine. Let V is the vector space. V is the vector space of all M n cross n matrix. So this x belongs to the n cross n such that ax is my 0. This is my v is my vector space. Okay, fine. What, okay, what is the dimension? So look at that. Whenever there is a dimension of the vector space, you always think about the n minus rank of v because we have to find the dimension of v. So n minus rank of v is the right answer. What is the n is? that is dimension of the vector space. So look at that, v is my x n cross n. What is the dimension of this is? n square. What is the dimension of v? But here this is the dimension of the a, not the v. 
what is the v is here now how you can find the rank of a x remember that's a very very simple what is the shortcut to x for you this is the shortcut to x for you the rank of this the rank of this v is nothing but number of the columns number of the columns multiply by rank of a that's a very simple shortcut to x for you in this case what is the number of the columns that is a n so this is n rank of a is given to you r so the rank of b is my n r is the right answer of this problem so these options are cancelled so whenever there is a matrix are there then you can find the rank of this is number of the columns multiply by rank of this matrix a okay look about the another one if v is a vector space of this polynomial now it's a two dimension variable with degree less than equal to 1 that's a very simple look at that if i simply say v is a polynomial of one variable whose uh, at the most n then what is the dimension of the v you all knows that it's n plus 1 but if i say v is a polynomial of x comma y having the degree n then what is the dimension of the v then you can remember that this is n n plus 1 n plus 2 over 2 factorial if you have a vector space with the dimension with three variables of here then the dimension will be n n plus 1 n plus 2 n plus 3 over 3 factorial and so on although there is no need of this higher dimension because they are talking only about this here so what is that dimension of the v so this is n is my 3 so it's a 3 plus 1 4 3 plus 5 over 2 factorial so it will be my 10 fine sorry it's a less than 3 it's not be 3 it's less than 3 so it means this is less than equal to 2 so it will be my 2 plus 1 3 2 plus 2 4 divided by 2 that's my 6 elements so what are those v l what is the dimension of the v so there are the x comma y so firstly i can write as a x these are my one dimension this is a constant this is a one dimension then it's a x square this is a xy then it's a y square fine this are my these are my basis of the dimension v let t is a linear transformation which of the following statement is correct now that's very simple task so it means now it's a 6 cross 6 fine the first column that is x 1 y if i consider this remember the ordering are there now what is the transformation is partial derivative with respect to x so first if i consider here what is the partial derivative of the one is 0 so that's a constant value and the rest all the parts are my 0 what is the partial derivative of this is 1 which is a constant value so with respect to 1 rest all the values are my 0 what is the partial derivative of y that's again a zero this is a constant part so this is my here what is the partial derivative of this is 2x that's a coefficient of the x that is my 2 rest all are by zero this is a basis you can generate what is the partial derivative of this is y so corresponding to y it is a 1 rest all are my zero what is the partial derivative of y square is a zero so these are my complete matrix t now you can get the answers so firstly t is invertible clearly says that the rank of t is less than of the 6 so t is not be invertible what is the rank of this t how many non zero rows are there three so you can see rank of at least four that's cancel out rank of is at least three that is a greater than or equal equality is appears three so it's the right answer nullity how you define the nullity that is n minus rank of t nullity means that is a dimension So what is that n? What is the size is six? What is the n minus three is three? So that is my three. So is at least three. That's also the right answer. That's why they are the R. So they are the right answers are my A and the C are my correct options. Although there is no need of this formula, but you may remember that it it may ask you in the some another examination. Okay. So look at the another one. So let us define a Fibonacci series. this is my fibonacci series an if i write this number in terms of here fine 
now again you have to find the dimension so what is the dimension is n minus rank of what is the vector space is Fibonacci series so rank of the r vector Fibonacci series fine now that that's a very simple about that this is a sequence of this so if I write this in terms of the matrix this is a a n minus 1 so if I write this as a 1 then minus 1 then minus 1 rest of the some numbers are there any of the numbers are there that is no problem so what is the meaning of that clearly says that clearly says that what is the rank of this matrix rank is my 1 number of the non-zero rows are my 1 rest all are my zeros so it means rank is my 1 what is the n what is the n if I consider there are the 3 rows so it's my 3 cross 3 so n minus rank of this vector space 3 minus 1 that is my 2 is the right answer otherwise you may think about that what is a a3 a3 can be written as a1 plus a2 what is a a4 a3 plus a2 so a3 I can substitute here it is a1 plus 2a2 what is a a5 a4 plus a3 so a4 I can substitute so it's a 2a1 plus 3a2 clearly says that a3 is the linear combination of a1 a2 a4 is a linear combination of a1 and a2 a5 is a linear combination of a1 and a2 so how many number of linearly independent vectors or the numbers are there only two a1 and a2 that is a, again the right answer this is the second method you can su supply this otherwise whenever there is a dimension start with the n minus r r so this is the right answer of this problem okay look at this uh, another that's a sequence of this which are the following statement are true okay so that's a very interesting problem are there so sometime what is the meaning of this what is the f1 so if you look about this f1 alpha minus beta upon alpha minus beta that is a 1 what is the f3 because we need a f3 so alpha cube over alpha minus beta so you know alpha you know beta you can substitute here what is the f5 here and how you can take the alpha raised to power 5 that's a very that's a very uh, lengthy calculation but remember this is not the subjective exam you can't solve uh, in the one or two page examination paper so look at this number if you remember do you remember which what is this number this is called as the golden ratio number this is the golden ratio number this golden ratio number and which is a direct relation with the Fibonacci series what is the Fibonacci series is if remember if this is alpha if I call this number as alpha raised to power n beta raised to power n over root 5 where alpha is my here and beta is nothing but my 1 by alpha fine if you get this number as of this or you can simply say this is a 1 minus root 5 over 2 then this number is called as Fibonacci series so clearly say now we have to check whether alpha minus beta is root 5 or not so what is the alpha minus beta if you subtract them it is a root 5 so it means this fn is my Fibonacci number so which of the following is the correct statement about the Fibonacci series this is cancelled so this is the first option is the right one fine now once it's a Fibonacci series now I can simply rub this one now what is the Fibonacci series now you have to look about this here what is given to you P1 is F what is the Fibonacci series there is a 1 then 1 then 2 then 3 then 5 then 8 and so on what is given to you this is my F0 this is my F1 this is my f2 f3 f4 f5 fine now what is given to you this number is my f1 1 p of 3 is my f3 f3 is my 3 f4 oh, what is the fp5 that is f5 what is the f5 is my 8 fine these are my these, these are my fibonacci series so now Fibonacci series sorry this is my f1 because 0 is not be defined so this is my f1 
this is my f2 f3 f4 f5 and f6 so it is my 1 then it's my 2 then it's my 5 fine now what is that p is a polynomial of degree 2 so i can simply consider ax square plus bx plus c so what is the meaning of that the first term is p1 a plus b plus c is 1 p3 9a 3b plus c is equal to 2 5 25a 5b plus c is equal to 0 fine now little bit calculation needed because this is a part of the unit third so you can subtract them so it's a 8a plus 2b is 1 you can subtract them 16a plus of the 2b sorry this is my 5 so it's my 3 so you can simply subtract them it's a minus 8a 0 is minus 2 a is my 1 by 4 once a is my 1 by 4 you can substitute here so it will be my 2 plus 2b is 1 so b is my minus half a is 1 by 4 b is minus so you can substitute here c will be my 1 minus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 so 4 minus 1 plus 2 over 4 so 3 5 by 4 so what is my p polynomial is my a 1 by 4 x square b minus 1 by 2 x c is 5 upon 4 so what is the p 7 so 49 over 4 7 over 2 5 over 4 so i can make them as a 14 over 4 so what is that 49 minus 10 49 minus 9 that is a 40 40 over 4 is my 10 is the right answer this option is cancel so that's the little bit calculation that's i, I agree that because it's the part of the unit third 4.75 is marks so the first portion is very simple and then you can simplify solve this problem in a simplified manner okay so that, that's all about these five questions are there i hope you can simply learn the various concept we will see some another lectures on this linear algebra questions like of this in our next lectures till then you can simply follow my youtube channel and the playlist i hope you can like share and comment my these videos best of luck students happy learning